Hiring freeze for the software tester in startups and MNC. Pramod, what's going on right now? Is it like recession? There are no jobs for software tester right now in the market. So these kind of questions that I am getting continuously right through emails, uh, through WhatsApp chat or through my students. So what's happening right now? Why there are hiring freeze as well as what's happening with the different startup MNCs, right? In this video, we are going to discuss, right? We will discuss what you should do and what I have done basically in these kind of scenarios in the past, all right? And I'm going to show you some of the action item as well as the resources which will going to help you to basically overcome these kind of recession scenarios all right so let's get started and let's jump into it and let's discuss what are the things that you should know to handle these kind of situations all right just a disclaimer please make sure you watch this video in 1.2x or 1.5x so that you can complete the full video where i have discussed about some of the amazing tips in the end where basically i'm going to discuss like what i have done in these kinds of scenarios all right so if you see already that our indian economy right mostly depends upon the us economy if you know right mostly it industries right where most of the project that we are getting in different companies big companies for example congress and tcs and process right most of them are heavily rely on the us where if you see there are two negative gdps overall present right now in the usa right almost like experts are already saying that we are already in the recession in especially in us so that's where the impact is coming in the Indian startups as well as MNCs also. Where if you have seen like many startups like Cognizant, uh, TCS, Infosys are completely, they have already freezed their hirings. There are no new projects that what I have heard as well as I had a discussion with a couple of uh, HRs also where they have completely told that there are no new projects coming, only the existing projects that we are completing them. So that's why. And if you know, uh, last time also Indian startups layoffs like there are layoffs also happening right now because of the recessions as well as no new projects. Okay, so what you should do. I know it's one of the situation where many times it's very, very sad for the freshers as well as the people who really want to jump into the software testing or even as a developer or anywhere, right? It's a very sad situation. I have seen these kind of scenarios multiple times as well as uh, when I think uh, on 2008, some some wish, right? Whenever we are starting as our engineer, like I have seen my uh, seniors who are basically crying and they're just begging, like just give us any job, like for example, support job, technical support job, we are okay to do it, but just uh, give us a job especially for the freshers it's really difficult so what i would recommend is don't feel sad the first of all tips is don't feel sad it happens this shall too pass guys so make sure you are not getting uh, sad in this case what exactly you have to do is basically focus on the learning you have to buy courses so that's why i'm basically telling you guys that you have to make sure that you are focusing on the learning this time this is all about learning because you have to make a plan of three to five months where as a fresher or a manual tester or even as an automation tester if you want to get a new job new hire salary hike right it's a time for you even in your existing company if you're a fresher then make a plan for three to four five months buy some courses follow some four courses and go step by step and start learning new concepts suppose you want to jump into software testing industry as a fresher you can go learn about the manual testing api testing through or automation also side by side right it's a very right time to learn about the concepts if you're a manual tester go towards the api testing if you are already a manual api tester go towards automation if you're automation tester to learn about the different scaling concepts like scaling docker and other. so learning is the main project overall right what i would recommend is do 30 day challenges i think plenty of challenges are already available on the testing academy channel we have like 30 days of rest assured api testing postman selenium and many more right go ahead and start learning keep on applying so now now remember the three important tips we just keep on applying wherever you find the jobs different jobs reference is the most important thing right nowadays what what exactly is a reference is reference where you will basically contact a person and as a reference they will provide you a job these references are more important rather than applying directly okay so pay attention to the references ask for referral from your friends colleague peers wherever you have worked or anywhere and i mean any friend who is basically working in some company that you think they require some of the qa or software tester start applying and make sure you have a references in this case it's time for you to perfect your resume add the projects if possible and make sure your resume has a proper keyword so i have basically created multiple videos around it make sure you do that okay so what i have done very interesting part right so i have seen it this kind of scenario multiple times i have focused on mostly on learning and improving myself i had like three to four months of plan where but what exactly topics i wanted to learn i improved my coding in this case 
for example i wanted to switch to automation right so saturday sunday i was doing the projects i took lots of different courses online right i uh, and this is a tip for the freshers also if you want to try out other fields in software testing like rpa robotic processes etl tester where you will find less competition you can go at this time keep applying whenever you see the openings so this is what i would say suggest so action items i would suggest prepare a th three to four month plans this will this shell to pass don't worry do the challenges be a part of a community for example you can part be as dot club go to testing academy be a part of it uh learnings learn 30 minute 30 to 1 1 hour per day and make sure you read the software testing related books or any book which will basically give you a focus on more learning and which can help you to achieve to become an software test, right so this is all about it guys i hope this makes sense i hope this will boost you give you a motivation if yes just type part two in the comment i'll prepare like what are the things or the topics that you should focus on and i will also prepare a roadmap where what exactly you have to do a recession free roadmap for a software tester all right thanks for watching this video guys i'll see you in the next video bye